Emma Ekba, God's spiritual, reveals what will happen to Nigeria president soon. Hey, my people, my people, this is a serious matter. Before Simon Ekman can come out, they talk this kind of so. Now they say something, don't they go wrong, go. And you know, say the way this administration be, many people, they're not they appeal. And you see, say some people, that they over the cons, the leaders, especially the president, oh, say now be the problem of this economic hardship. Oh. And the way the matter can they go so, he can they show say be like say our president, he don't they confuse oh, because of the kind of advice where we say some advisors that they give him. So my people, make on a con here add the reports, he follow. Simon Ekman will be a polarizing figure and ardent advocate for the Biafra independence movement. As once again, capture public attention you know, with his inflammatory remarks directed at Nigeria's president, will be the person of Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Not for its uncompromising stance against the Nigerian government. Ekpa has built a reputation for its vocal opposition, particularly against the administration led by Tinibu. In a recent series of provocative social media posts, Ekpa alludes to the declining act of the president, drawing controversial comparisons to the late Abba Kari, where be the former chief of staff to President Muhammadu Buhari, who come pass away that 2020. In his first post, Ekpa Brazeli referred to Tinibu as the criminal in Asorako and implied that the president's ex is in a critical state. Using a metaphor about a battery that is no longer charging, no. Ekma, he called suggested that Tinibu's ability to continue leading the country is in serious jeopardy. He said this choice of words reflects Ekman's signature style of using vivid symbolic language to cast doubt on the Nigerian leadership. Further questioning Tinibu's capability to govern, the insinuation of an imminent earth crisis Add to the ongoing narrative, Ekpa has promoted a bad Tinibu being unfit for office, a position that aligns with his broader critique of the Nigerian government. Ekpa's rhetoric escalated in a second post, where he can't claim to have envisioned a casket similar to that of Abakari, alluding once again to Tinibu's precarious act. Though he can clarify that what he saw was not literally a casket, the metaphor was clear. Ekman was issuing a stark warning about Tinibu's to drawing parallels between the president's situation and Kari's death. This comparison is not only symbolic, but also it concerns to fuel the sensationalist nation of Ekman's political commentary, aiming to draw attention to his case 
while undermining the credibility of Nigeria's political leadership. Simon Ekman has long been a controversial figure in Nigeria politics. So, as a prominent leader of the Biafra movement, he has consistently called for the southeastern region of Nigeria to secede and form an independent state. So, his harsh criticism of the Nigerian government combined with his incendiary language has made him a divisive character drawing both fierce support and vehement criticism. Why many can't condemn his method as inflammatory and dangerous, Ekman's followers can't view him more as a fearless advocate for the Briafan cause, unafraid to challenge the powers that be. Despite the outrage of his comments, so, as he be said, they often they day provoking, Ekman's persist attack on the Nigerian leadership can suggest that he will remain a key figure in the nation's political landscape. His unrelenting advocacy for Briafa independence, coupled with his sharp critique of President Tinubu, ensures that his influence will continue to shape the ongoing discourse so where be said the surrender governors and separatist movements in Nigeria. So my people, my people, you not say of a truth the way this country they go so even our president he no go figure rest of mind though because the system he don't they add well well because if things not they go well the person where they lead, you know, they see the day easy for Ramo. So with the way things they go on, so he should say our president, he need to revisit the policies to make sure say go come do and such that it go day easy for this economy go, especially to the ordinary citizens. You see, say Simon Ekman, where be say no the fear, he don't come and they talk say soon. Our president, he goes to Mayo. So, my people, my people, even though say the economy, if they act like this, nobody wish and to Mayo, but not to make sure say make things go well. Now, he go think over again, no, so that he himself go get peace. So, my people, my people, I want to see the matter and end them up here. Yeah, oh. This is not Blue Channel. I better make on and not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.